Hi everybody, it's Adam with heartvalvesurgery.com and today we're coming to you live from Abu Dhabi at the Heart Valve Society Conference and I'm thrilled to be with Dr. Mark Gilanoff, mm -hmm. who is the Chief of Cardiac Surgery at the Cleveland Clinic in Cleveland, Ohio. Mark, thanks for being with me today. My pleasure. Yeah, and so as you know, Mark, we've been answering questions that came in from our community all over the world at Facebook and heartvalvesurgery.com and here's two questions that we have uh, coming in from Carol and Adele one is about lipoprotein and aortic stenosis. And the question is, is there an association between lipoprotein A and aortic stenosis? That's a really good question. And we don't have yet a complete answer. We've been studying for a long time the relationship between cholesterol, atherosclerosis, and aortic stenosis, or I should say the possible relationship. The issue with uh, lipoprotein little a specifically is we have no medical therapies to reduce its level anyway at this time. So if you have aortic stenosis or if you have progressive thickening of the valve, I wouldn't be worried about your lipid profile or lipoprotein little a. I'd be getting an echo every year. Got it. And moving on to calcium supp supplements, this comes up a lot with patients who have aortic stenosis in particular. They hear their valve or the leaflets are calcified and they're wondering, hey, I'm also taking calcium supplements. Can that impact the calcium on my valve? What are your thoughts on that one? Because this is a question, I think it's a great question from Adele. It's very unlikely that calcium supplements or vitamin D supplements influence heart valves. Uh, one common misconception about these supplements is calcium supplements and vitamin D do not prevent osteoporosis. If you have osteoporosis, more common in women than men, if you have osteoporosis, these medicines, calcium supplements, vitamin D, and some others are helpful, but you should not take them to try to prevent osteoporosis because they don't work. Got it. One question I just have as a follow-up in terms of calcium and it being on the valve, impacting the valvular function. Have you, I mean, you've done thousands of valve procedures. Yes. When you go in and you um, are looking at the valve, maybe it, it appears a little different in your real vision versus on echo. Do you, can you ever just decalcify a valve versus replacing it or needing to repair it? How, how does that work? For the aortic valve, uh, decalcifying doesn't last. We actually tried that in the 80s. And the answer is yes, you can decalcify the valve, but the valve fails down the road. For the mitral valve, and people who have mitral valve prolapse or degenerative mitral valve disease and also mitral calcium, in many cases, we can remove the calcium and repair the valve. Got it. Well, Mark, thanks so much for being with oh, us welcome. today. And as we always say, keep on ticking.